these are not just golf tees. These are organically grown, titanium coated, straight from the Amazon Prime Golf Tees. Hello, welcome to the Tattoo Golfer YouTube channel. You join me at the beautiful day at Charlton Comardy Golf Club. Uh, I'm down here with two of the best guys I've met through golf, fellow Shankers, GMAC Golf and Golf Nuts. Today I'm going to play three holes. I am going to see what score I get. Can I beat my handicap is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do it with the stroke index and stuff and see if I can beat the handicap or probably not. So yeah, let's get to it. This is being recorded on my phone today because I haven't brought my cameras because I couldn't be bothered carrying them around with me. So I hope the audio and video quality is okay for you. Let's get to it. Right, so let's see how low he can go. Or can he beat his handicap? Right, it. Just run to the right. Blake's taking his tee shot. Who's this? Hello, Shanker, Mr. Sean. Good afternoon. How are you playing? Started off really well. Uh, gone down a little bit now. But coming back. Plodding on. Yeah, plodder. Nice cap, mate. There's someone doing it, I don't know. <laughs> it's that driver all right uh, drifted right a little bit um, one thing you'll notice with my golf from now on uh, I'm going to be focusing more on rhythm and swing speed and stuff because my usual go-to thing is to just try and hit the ball as far as I can if I've got 150 yards I'll trying it an nine iron there as hard as I can and it's not helping my game at all um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be focusing more on getting a bit more rhythm in my swing and slowing my swing speed down a bit because I don't I need to get it into my head that I don't need to hit my driver 300 yards uh, today I've hit my driver a lot better because I've just been nice and steady with it uh, so I'm just going to keep plodding on and see how we go let's go and see if I find my ball so, sorry, sorry everybody. I've got that to play with. Uh, time to take medicine, I think, and just play out. Yeah, sometimes when you're in a bit of a predicament, you've got to think about just playing safe rather than messing your whole game up, which I'm a big culprit for that uh, if I see a little gap I'll say oh yeah I'm really good I can do that but I can't so I've just chipped out and uh, let's go for it right I'm going for a nice steady swing with a pitching wedge about 100 yards ish I think so try and get it close and get a par left but it's on the back of the green this is stroke index six so i would get a shot here so i've got two putts to get a par with my handicap bogey without not too bad considering where my drive ended up let's see if i can sink this putt So that's even par with my handicap, one over without, on to the next one. So having a little chat with uh, Mr. Golf Nuts and GMAC, uh, I'm gonna play the 16th and the 17th hole. So I've done a par four, a par five, and a par three. So I will be back very soon on the 16th hole. All right, so we're now on the 16th, par five. I am all square with my handicap, one over without my handicap. Uh, let's keep going. That 
weren't a bad drive. Uh, should, well, weren't a bad drive, but went a bit more left than I wanted it to. Um, just, there's a pond down here. If you play Charlton, you'll know which pond I'm on about. And I've, if I was about 20 yards further left, I would have been there. Uh, maybe even 10 yards left, further left, I would have been in the sink. But we're having a good day. Uh, this morning, got invited invited onto Golf Logs channel, uh, which was a, we just did a free old match, a doubles match, which is uh, quite good. So no doubt a lot of people who are watching this now have come from over there. So thank you very much. And thank you to Liam for inviting us on. And I hope to do it again soon. Uh, with those two Muppets, who are both a lot better at golf than me, but I'm learning, I'm getting better, let's just keep going. Nice. Sensible play. Down the middle. Nice right, about 95 yards in, I'm going to hit me 52. Let's see how it goes. Sharp. Very, very, very sharp. So I'll have to get a nice close chip to the hole to be in with the shot. Yeah, I just got under that a little bit too much and it just shot up in the air. Um, if I chip it close and get it in, that's a par. So let's see. Right. So I'm left with that. This will be my fourth shot. Oh. The one from Mr. Nuts. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, it's stood Ooh. still. There's a bit of meat on it. He's got a testy one for his par. Yeah, you're right, there's still a lot of pizza left in that box. So, after that putt for a nice par, that means with a shot, that would have been a birdie, so that means I am all square through the two holes I've played. One par three left to see if I can beat my handicap. This is the 17th at Charlton Kamadi. Over that tree, I bet this is going to be about 100 yards, if that, because the tees are quite far forward because of the winter conditions, obviously. Right, so, uh, I'm in a bunker. Could this be my card record? We will see. And once again, apologies for if the audio is bad. Um, can't be helped. Well, it could, I could have got my stuff out of the car, but I didn't. So, uh, yeah, Golf Nuts City quite close on this hole. You should head over to GMAC Golf and Golf Nuts give them a little subscribe they promised me they're going to be bringing out more content in 2020 and the shankers will be bringing out a lot of content as well and i most certainly will be bringing out a lot more content just on the green
to say pa and uh, I don't think they get a shot at this hole. So, uh, yeah, if I get that in, I've all squared my handicap. Tough putt that, considering you had the... It was that in the way, I didn't want to go over there. Yeah, yeah. Right, so that was a four on a par three, so that's one over, and I didn't get a shot on that hole. So that means I was one over with my handicap, playing with the stroke index, three free holes. So, not the best, could have been a lot worse. So, we're gonna leave it there. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out more of my videos and be sure to keep your eyes peeled because there's a lot of stuff coming in 2020. I've got a lot of things planned. And please, please get involved, comment on the videos, and I, I need your feedback. I don't just want negative rubbish comments. If you don't like the video, that's fair enough. Please give me some constructive criticism so I can change little things in my videos to make it more appealing to people. I want to create content that people like, but just writing on nonsense isn't going to help me change the way I do my videos. If you don't like me, that's fair enough. Just don't watch my stuff. <laughs> Simple. On that note, thank you for watching. See you soon. Peace.